truth. We have not followed cunningly devised fables. Oh, yes. We were eyewitnesses of this thing. We walk in Bible, but we have seen the Lord. Our eyes have seen the Lord. I don't know about you. When you have become a supernatural Christian, God gets into you and starts walking himself. He no longer leads. He is now Ayakara. Hello, welcome to the gospel. On this channel, you are going to get soul lifting message, faith content, and video that will help you to grow your spiritual life. Remember, don't forget to subscribe this channel for more new video updates. Whatever you are doing now, whatever you are doing now with your finances, as far as it relates to God, this is what you will do if God multiplied your finances by 100 times. Believe me. Money is an amplifier, which means money amplifies your character. Money is an amplifier. Anything you're doing with your money today is amplifying your character. So this thing is a character thing. You can trace your character, you can read your character by your use of money. That's why it will not change when it is multiplied. You will do exactly the same thing. Because it amplifies your character. The only thing is, you're going to do all the bad things you have done so far with the money in a bigger way. And if you use your money rightly too, you will do all the good things you've done in a bigger way. And that's why God loves multiplying the finances of those who are favoring his righteous course. Are you still there? Oh yes, that's why I know I, I always will have more and more money and it always happens to me. I keep having more and more. Because my number one thought is the gospel of Jesus Christ. So I keep having more and more. And that's why I bring the same thought to you. Get smart. Don't use, don't use God's tithe for business to say when the, when the next supply comes or when the next payment comes, then I will now pay the big tithe from there. No, you won't. No, you won't. No, you won't. No, you won't. In fact, you are setting up that business for a frustration. You are setting it up. You're likely going to lose all your investment. So you're setting yourself up. So like I said, I, I hope to talk to you about your finances as well because I really want you to have a lot of money. I want you to talk big and be able to push the gospel everywhere from wherever you are the bible says a rich man speaks roughly but a poor man makes entreaties see and i don't want you to be like that making entreaties there are times to talk roughly say i follow instructions, I follow instructions. <laughs> it's very important you know that's why jesus distinguished between the sheep and the goats Goats cannot follow instructions. Have you ever watched a goat? It just meh and goes like this. But the sheep, you know, you can put your hand on a sheep and it will stand right there with you. If you like, put a rope on a goat's neck. That's it will resist to put his hand like ah! it's not moving. You do that to a ram or a sheep, just put it, it will follow you. Try it. If you've never tried it, try it. When I was younger, my dad had lots of those kind of things, and I, I always was the one feeding them, so I can tell you. Try, go and try it. Go out to the market, buy a goat. <laughs> then buy a sheep and try it. Put a rope on their necks and see which one will follow you. One will follow you willingly. The other one will resist you. That's the goat. If you don't know the difference, if you've never seen them, I can tell you how you would distinguish between them. It's four arms 
it will make them like this. <laughs> and the neck will be stiff. <laughs> You'll be pulling it. <laughs> but the sheep will follow you. So you condition your spirit. You say, I am not stiff-necked. I am not disobedient. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. If you find... You see, there are some things you can look at your life. You can know yourself. Listen to me. The Bible says, a man who has rule over his own spirit is better than someone who takes a strong city. All right? You see, conquer yourself. Understand you. When you understand yourself, you will know why you behave in a certain way. And you will be able to change your way of doing things. That is self-development. You see... If you've never been under instructions, it may be very hard for you to follow instructions. You find that whenever you're given instructions, the first thing is rebellion. First thing is why? Before you even have time to calm down. And meanwhile, you are a preacher, you are a minister, you have Holy Spirit. Your first reaction is rebellion. Why? After you've calmed down, you agree. Ask yourself, why am I like this? You will find you've never really been under, under instruction. Under strong discipline. There are people who were, who were raised under strong parental discipline. They're very different from those who were not raised under strong parental discipline. They are very different. They're not the same. Then you have those who had strong parental discipline, but they resisted the parents. <laughs> they said, I fought my uncle. The man used to beat me every Saturday. I fought him. They will tell you. They will tell you how one day they left home in anger that their father was abusing them. So they left. They are still doing it. You see them, even if they become a pastor, put him as a pastor, one day he will live there. The same way he left home. You say, I left the church. <laughs> And you know, he wouldn't know that something is wrong. It's been his way of life. You see, he grew up that way. This is the way he deals with things he doesn't like. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel.